Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here looking at Mayfly with Simon and Talk of Japan Brand uh, by publisher I Can't Not Live By Myself. Uh, yes. 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 It is. This is probably the strangest game that we have this year. It's a cooperative game where you are deities of nature trying to get this little guy to survive. Yes. Uh, it's a Mayfly and it starts as a pup. And if it survives and hatches, you now need it to uh, defeat its enemies using the food that you had, uh, that you gave it as a pup. So it, there are two stages. In the first stage, we will all have cards like this. I think you have three in hand or something. Okay. They are food here. You see how hard it is to eat the food. These are brown spots. And this is the amount of food that they are, how nutritious they are. So you okay. actually have some cards that are very, very easy to eat, but they still have a lot of nutrition. And you have the guys that are very hard to eat. Now, I have a hand of cards. The first thing that happens on my turn is that this is how hungry he is. He is currently three hungry because there are three empty spaces. So he loses one of these. Okay. Then you turn up this little card and say, can he eat this? Yes, because it's just one brown spot. So we add one and then we slide this little card into the box. He has now eaten it. This okay. lines up and I place the next card that I have in my hand, whatever that might be. Yeah. I place it face down here. Now it's your turn. Okay. He gets a bit hungry. The next card is face up. He will also, he will get two and he eats this. But this is a very special one. He grows now. And now he will get hungrier. So we will take this card and sort of try to slide it underneath here. Now you see that each turn he will not get one hungry. He will lose two of these. And the game continues. If he ever runs out of these, he starves to death. Yes. But if we are lucky enough, uh, he will grow once again. He will get even hungrier. And if we're lucky enough and can time, like for example, a hard thing to eat like this, it's five food, so it's very good. If he survives this, if we manage to get through this deck without him dying, we will eventually have a bunch of cards here, right. food cards, that we will shuffle and distribute to all the players. Now, he is facing enemies. And uh, we take these cards, there are four, en uh, four enemy cards here. Uh, we have another, some random ones. Yep. So we take these, we place them face down, and now this little guy, this little fella, he has eight endurance points. We turn up the first card. This is a rival. Uh, let's take another one that is easier. Uh, the flycatcher. He requires nine food uh, okay. energy to actually uh, to overcome. So okay. what you do is that you play a card. Maybe you play this one. Five. We still have four to go. So he loses one endurance because he's not strong enough. Let me play the next another. player plays this. He loses another one. The next player plays this. Nine. He loses another one, but we still now we have defeated this guy. Okay. Next card. And we go on like this, and if we manage to defeat all these cards within this eight card time limit, we win. Okay. However, depending on how you win, you have four different endings. If you used, depending on the food cards that you actually use, you see that some of them are brown and some of them are green. Yep. So in order to have the happiest ending of all, you get a nice little, ha little story here at the end. You should use okay. four green cards and four browns. Okay. If you use Which you have to two unbalanced, entire, you will get game. this sad ending and the <laughs> tears will be shed <laughs> for the poor mayfly. For having it's, an unhealthy diet, I guess. Yeah, I think. Mm, that's right. It's a very, very strange little cooperative game in a very strange theme, but it was actually very satisfying to play. Okay. Thank you very much for the overview of Mayfly.